brilliance was Tesla, or better yet, what was the brilliance? What 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 made him so innovative? And uh, was it just the brain was working all the time? Was it innovation? It was seeing things that people couldn't see. This is a great question. It's really the question of what is the nature of genius. If you ask me about Edison, I think Edison was a genius. Um, Edison, uh, I'm not sure he invented anything. Uh, what he did was he built better mousetraps than anybody else built. There was a talking, uh, there was the ability to, to transmit voice, you know, with a record. They used uh, like uh, black, you know, it's, you can catch vibrations, but he made the record. He did it. Uh, movie cameras existed before Edison, but he made the best one. He invented the microphone to the, uh, to the telephone. Um, so Edison, uh, for the most part, he, he didn't invent the light bulb, he built, he, built, he built the best one. So his brilliance and his genius was really making something much better than, than what it was. Um, look at Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs didn't invent the mouse, but the mouse is credited with Steve Jobs. Uh, so is Steve Jobs a genius? I think he is. In the case of Tesla, what's so different about him than most other inventors is that he's an inventor in so many different fields and realms. He didn't just invent in the electrical field. He had uh, uh, airplane designs. He had pumps. Uh, he invented what becomes the Osprey helicopter airplane. Uh, he patented it. Um, so people want to know for sure if he invented it. You can look at his patent from the 1920s of a plane that takes off like a helicopter and then rotates the, the propeller into the airplane position and flies like an airplane. He invented a flying wing. So, and as I said, his mathematics were unbelievable, just beyond belief. So I think he really was truly a genius. Um, I'm questioning myself about all this because Tesla had something called the dynamic theory of gravity. And very little information uh, about it. Um, in my new book, which I have a picture of it up there, it's called Wizard at War. I discussed Tesla's uh, dynamic theory of gravity. Um, it took me a long time to figure all this out. What, uh, what Tesla was saying was that the sun was absorbing more energy than it's radiating. Now, we've all stood in front of this, you know, at a, at a beach or whatever and gotten sunburned because we stood in front of the sun too much too long. The sun is very powerful. To think that it's absorbing more energy than it's radiating sounds crazy. But I said to myself, if Tesla said that the sun is absorbing more energy than it's radiating, I'm going to assume that that's correct. And based on that, and based on my studies, I read a book called 30 Years of Chook Physics by uh, George Gamow, who was uh, one of the founders of quantum physics, uh, friends with Einstein, Dirac, and Sommerfeld, and all the greats of physics, I was able to piece together what Einstein called was um, grand unification. Grand unification is a way to unify the theory of whatever gravity is with whatever electromagnetism is and strong and weak nuclear forces. The strong nuclear force holds the nucleus of the atom together. The weak nuclear force um, holds, uh, what, what is it? Holds uh, the um, neutron together. A neutron is a, is a proton and electron inside the nucleus. So the weak nuclear force holds the proton and the neutron together, and the strong nuclear force holds the neutron together. Electromagnetism holds molecules together. Those three forces have been combined. How do you combine that with gravity? Einstein spent 40 years, the last 40 years of his life, trying to combine gravity with those three forces. I'm going to do it in the next minute. And then I want you to say, whether or not I'm a genius, I don't know. I figured it out. Am I a genius? I don't know what the nature of genius really is. I don't totally understand. But anyhow, what Tesla was saying was that what, if, if the sun is absorbing more energy then it's radiating. That is his dynamic theory of gravity. He only stated it once in an article in um, uh, at the Herald Tribune to Joseph Alsop, who became a very famous reporter. Uh, he and his brother, the Alsop brothers, 